Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonics, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. cameras on this ridge in front of me, uh, photos of any shooters, any fully mature bucks. And we're hoping that something moved in. And it's a great spot. It sets up perfect. There's a food plant on the ridge. You know, a lot of it didn't grow because of the drought this summer, but there is a big beast of plot up on top there. And we come in through the back door. The way that we get to the stand is bulletproof. We park right up in the neighbor's yard, basically and come sneaking in through the valley and then pop up onto this ridge on the back side away from where all the food is coming into the wind. So many times I've hunted this in the morning and there'll be deer 100 yards away or thereabouts out in that field and they'll never even know that I got in here. We don't have a specific target this morning. Uh, any mature buck is definitely going to be one that we will strongly consider. The nickname for this spot is Death Ridge. We've had great hunts here, many great hunts over the years. We had a beautiful sunrise. You know, we got Thanksgiving right around the corner. And if you're looking for something to be thankful for, uh, we had a bird's eye view of it this morning. It was gorgeous. So we're going to get back to hunting now. Hopefully something pops up. I mean, I love this spot. It's got a lot of history. This gives me goosebumps even being here. Death Ridge didn't live up to its name this morning. We had, uh, what did we end up with? Seeing two does and four fawns. I like the conditions though. We had a little front go through pretty early in the morning. We actually had a little bit of rain. And after that, the temperature started dropping and the wind started kicking pretty good out of the northwest. I don't know, maybe the deer reacted to that front or maybe it's just the stage of the rut that we're in, I don't know, but really didn't get any movement. I'll be back in the tree again tomorrow. So check back tomorrow for the next uh, video blog from me. And uh, hopefully you had a chance to get out today and you can tell me how it went for you.